Hello, here we are, the last day of school for 2020. Not the school year yet, but for 2020. Today is the last day. And I actually don't know where to start with all the thank yous, but a huge thank you to you parents, every single one, for playing the game, staying within the rules. And I can imagine many of you think that I'm either military or we are, we've got too many rules in place. But I want to say to you, look, we haven't had to close down a section at all this year. We haven't had to close down the primary school at all this year. We've had two classes on um, contact, close, as close contact, so they were doing distance learning. Only two since we've come back. And if I think and I hear about what other schools have gone through, this is quite amazing. And it's all thanks to you, our community. You were on the ball, you did what was necessary, you kept us informed and you kept everyone safe. And now thinking about it, and I, I cross fingers, I don't want to jinx it as the kids say, but look at us, here we are in December, numbers have shot up, I know, around the world. Um, and look at us, we haven't had to close anything. We are ending off school with everyone at school. So thank you, moms and dads. Thank you, teachers, for keeping our sharks safe here at DIA Al Basha for keeping them entertained, <laughs> keeping them in a spirit and a mind and engaging them in wanting to learn. And our distance learners, how awesome was it to see our winter concert videos with those that shared their videos put in to be part of the winter concert. And yes, I, I know it was not the same as we've done before. And I'm sure you can also tell with the kids with their performance a very different feeling to perform on stage for a camera and maybe three people in the audience versus moms and dads and lights going and cheering and excitement. But we wanted to see what we could do to just bring a little bit of normal, normal events that's happening at, at, at a school. So thank you to our music department for that. I know it wasn't easy. You had, I want to say, less than the normal time that you had to practice where the kids had been on stage, they knew where to move. You got the moves synchronized like we've had in the past, um, but you didn't have that ability this year. Just think about every time a class went into the auditorium and sat in seats, everything had to be sanitized before the next class came in. I tell you, if one thing I'm not going to miss is the smell of hand sanitizer or cleaning products. <laughs> I think it's something we all have got pretty much used to at this point. So boys and girls, thank you for making our teachers' lives easy and just being good students following the rules, sticking to your zones. We've had lots of fun um, and I cannot wait for January 2021 and to see what that all, all bring to us because if we can survive 2020, bring it on. We can do it, anything we can face. We can face that challenge. So just a couple of reminders. If you are traveling, good for you. Have fun, stay safe. Don't forget to fill in that travel document that you can find on Toddle. Um, and then, of course, our distance learners. There are so many of you coming back. I think in some grades, we now only have about two children left on distance learning, and that's fine. If that's what the parents have decided to do, that's fine. We will be there as much as we can to support you. So good luck with that. Um, we are saying farewell in a few moments. I mean, you'll, you, by the time you get the video, we will have already done it. Um, farewell to Mr. Hicks, who's leaving us. And um, the boys and girls are forming a guard of honor. We're putting him in the golf cart, the DIA Shark golf cart, and he's going to do the royal wave to say farewell so that social distancing is kept in mind. But to Mr. Hicks, thank you for everything. You are going to be a legend for DIA Al Barsha purely because you were our first principal. You helped get this whole thing started and off the ground. You met your wife in Dubai. You've had your kids here in Dubai. Dubai will always be a part of you. Um, and we wish you all the best as you move to your new school um, and an IB school. And I know that you already having a look for us to see how we can all connect with each other to still stay in touch. And then to the new man who is coming to fill the shoes of Mr. Hicks, Mr. Rodney Boswell also a Welsh gentleman. So we have, we're swapping one Welshie for another, but he wants you all to know, boys and girls, unlike Mr. Hicks, he's not a rugby guy. Although he is from Wales, he's not a rugby guy. He 
is a football guy and he seems to have some very interesting stories of all his experiences that he has got but you will hear more from him just before school starts because he will be wanting to make contact with you so watch out on toddle as we will share a little intro video with you all so that you know exactly who he is when you see him on campus all right so thank you moms and dads again for spoiling the teachers i'm going to say i didn't see anything brought into the school that should not have been brought into the school um, but thank you for making people feel special and just the emails to say to our staff thank you for a job well done um, i know there were challenges i mean we no one's going to deny that we are operating in a time where there is no handbook for us to look at and see how things should be done we are all just taking it step by step but the main interest at heart of keeping our kids safe and engaged and learning. All right, so to everyone, see you next year. Hope you have a lovely holiday. And just before we get back, I'll send a couple of reminders um, so that we just remember we still need to be mindful and be observing all the rules that we need to do. We can't become relaxed now. We want to keep everyone in school and we want to keep our teachers in school and we want the boys and girls to be in school as well. So everyone, have a lovely break. You deserve it. Moms and dads, as teachers like to say, tag, you're it now for the next three weeks. And I'm sure come 3rd of January, you'll return that tag because then we're it looking after them all. Be safe, stay safe, enjoy. And if, if there's any homework that you want to do, remember, read, 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 read. And it's not just about reading. It's about chatting about that book. Maybe even start a family book club. Decide on a book you'd like to read together and um, have a chat about it because that's where you improve your comprehension skills. And that's the trick. Anybody who's been successful academically can tell you it's because they read. Um, and whether that be in your home language or English, it's really up to you. But read, 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 read. Have a lovely break. I've said that a billion times. See you. Thank you. Stay safe.